Hey friends, welcome back to News Time. This is Mike. Today I want to talk about interesting list of sets for 2024. First half of 2024, a Dutch retailer, Eldorado International, unveiled lots of names. We have no pictures or prices or piece counts, but the BrickFan.com collected all the names and numbers of sets. So let's see what's interesting in that whole list. And that list might also change by the time 2024 hits. I think the big point here is the confirmation of the existence of the Animal Crossing theme. That's gonna sell like hotcakes. Uh, I can see this being as popular as Minecraft or anything gaming related that LEGO has done, but knowing how Animal Crossing uh, broke some record numbers in terms of popularity of the game, I can see that being a great collab for LEGO. So only numbers, five sets, uh, we're gonna have to wait and see what's gonna what's this gonna actually look like. There's a pair of parrots in the art section, so that might be a small model, but most likely it's gonna be a mosaic. From the city line we have a mix of police, fire, the usuals, and some space stuff. So that's interesting, there's a space hover bike, and there are a few more, more sets uh, at the bottom of the list that relate to space. Space base with launch pad, modular space station, space rover with aliens. Interesting, so maybe some Explorians type of stuff from the 90s, but I think it's gonna be a mix of NASA, Mars exploration stuff like we had in the past, and maybe some new flair to it, maybe some new colors, some new pieces. Uh, I like the spaceship one, whatever that's gonna be, probably not a typical space shuttle, something different. And a space asteroid recovery, space mech, I'm, gonna, I'm excited to see what this entails. There's a bunch of police stuff, the usual stuff, fire truck. Uh, there's a burger truck, so food trucks continue. A rescue helicopter, wanna see how this one looks like. I'm always a big fan of anything aviation in LEGO. And there's a few other uh, things smaller in that case, like an ambulance in a snowboarder, um, some go-karts as well. So, might be an interesting line for this year, for the next year. From Classic, we have four creative boxes in different themes, animals, horses, vehicles, and space planets. Wow, okay, whatever that's gonna look like. Creator, and I assume that's Creator 3-in-1, nothing kind of icons big model. But there are some interesting takes in here. I think my most interesting one is the iconic red plane. That might be a smaller model or maybe something to that old blue jet, uh, which I would welcome. Unlicensed sort of maybe biplane resembling a red baron, but LEGO will not go with anything military. But we'll, see, we'll have to wait and see if it's a small or a larger set. A second one here that I'm interested in is a retro camera. So we got the Disney camera. I just posted a review on that. Uh, and also in the past there was this Leica M with Leica and Lego collaborating. It was only like a small set sold in a particular Leica store in Miami, uh, Florida. Uh, wonder if that's gonna be like a larger model of, uh, I don't know, like an old film camera, something like that. There is also the Ideas Polaroid camera coming, so that's not gonna be... We're gonna, we're gonna have at least two cameras in 2024. For me, you know, somebody like with a YouTube channel and all that, uh, and how much I like the Disney camera, this is an interesting one to see. And it's probably go gonna be also a three-in-one. So maybe you're gonna be able to build a, a film camera, maybe like a camcorder in the same set, something like that. Never, We never had that before, so... For me, super exciting, super interesting. And the one below here, a roller skate. What does it mean? Is that a model of an actual rollerblade skate or something? Uh, we're gonna have actually like a life-size model or maybe like a desktop model of a roller skate or maybe just a diorama with minifigures roller skating. I don't know, at this point, it can be anything. So interesting here. Uh, astronaut in space. So this one is interesting as well because uh, there was this ideas project that uh, was the astronaut and what wasn't uh, approved or anything. Uh, so maybe they just took it and gonna make it into a, a creator three in one. So we're gonna have a space suit, maybe an EVA suit or things like that. Or maybe, I mean, a space shuttle as an alternate build. Interesting. This is interesting. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that they took the idea from how popular such project was in LEGO Ideas. And you know that LEGO takes LEGO Ideas projects and makes them into different themed sets very often. From Disney, Aurora's First Playground, Storytime Horse Carriage, Bellas, uh, Elsa's Frozen Treats, Elsa's Frozen Castle, continuing with the Frozen stuff, of course it sells, and Princess Market Adventure. I wonder if they're gonna top this latest uh, princess set from, uh, from Disney that had literally a big build and every single princess in the mini doll form that you can imagine. I think that set is excellent in the value of characters you're getting, so if your child loves Disney princesses, this is the one to get. I don't know how they're gonna top it next year. Another wave of dream sets, I'm a big fan of these sets. Mateo's Off-Road Racer, Hot Air Balloon from Easy's, Mr. Oz's Space Buggy, wonder if that's gonna be another classic space-themed set, Zoe and Zion the Cat Owl, and Zion the Cat Owl, and Sandman's Tower, whatever that's gonna mean. I wanna see more creativity from Dreams, so can't wait to see how these look like. 
because the first wave is actual, actual bangers. My first duck from Duplo and friends, big friends stuff as always, I look at the, the list. Mobile music trailer, flower garden, stargazing camping vehicle, Hard Lake City shopping mall, probably just gonna be like a flagship, seems like a flagship. A Mars space base and rocket. All right, so Friends is getting spice Mars exploration now, just like this city. All right, Friends becoming the new city in terms of quality. It's already better, so we'll see. Mobile bakery, food cart, mini boutique, electric car and charger. Tesla, anyone? No, Lego make a Tesla. Karaoke music party, cat playground, adventure, vintage fashion store, Heart Lake City music talent show, farm animal sanctuary, pop star music tour bus. Lots of variety, actually, if I, if I read that list. Ollie's and Paisley's family home, Heart Lake City Hospital. All right, all right, but we kind of everybody waits on a modular hospital of sorts, or maybe the, the city one, the latest one was pretty good. And another farm animal hospital as well. So a lot of medical stuff, but I think at this point we can expect a really good hospital from friends. Uh, their, their sets are absolutely killing it lately. So I wanna see how this one looks like. They're like pumping so many sets and yet nobody really appreciates them enough. <laughs> Harry Potter, now this is interesting, Flying Ford Anglia, alright, so that's that sounds like a flagship or maybe at least like a creator sized set, maybe on a stand, maybe with a Whomping Willow next to it, I might be very entailed to, to buy it because it's gonna resemble a creator car hopefully, but it's gonna have this Harry Potter touch to it. A private drive sign and a Hedwig, so that's interesting, so we already had a big Hedwig. I uh, wonder if that's like a small vignette or something midi scale maybe. Boathouse, arrival at Hogwarts, very uh, interesting location and a set that wasn't very represented, a location that wasn't very represented in Harry Potter. So they're gonna do maybe the pier, the landing of the boat, maybe Hagrid welcoming the students. Mm, I'm gonna want to, gonna wanna see how this looks. Uh, Hagrid's hut, an unexpected visit, also another Hagrid's hut, uh, maybe the best remake so far, we have to wait and see. Uh, I really want to see like a like a nicely detailed and a little bigger Hagrid's hat, even though the previous Hagrid, Hagrid's hat sets were pretty pretty decent. The sorting hat that's gonna be like the big tabletop sized sorting hat, not maybe too big, but it's gonna be a display model. So that was rumored for a while. It's coming in 24. The Owlery, uh, probably a, it's gonna be just like one of those modular uh, Hogwarts castle elements to connect to the other sets. And Forbidden Forest Magical Creatures. Wonder if that's gonna be the kind of suitcase style like we had before or something else. And this is where the things get really interesting for AFOs. Looking forward to this one, the Dune Ornithopter. So there's Dune 2 by Denis Villeneuve uh, coming soon in like a few weeks from now. Uh, one of my favorite vehicles from Dune. I'm not that big of a crazy Dune fan, but I do like the lore, the world they build, the storytelling there. And then his Villeneuve films are just like, oh, so good, Blade Runner 2049, just go watch it. Ornithopter is this kind of wasp looking vehicle, so it's gonna be like military looking a little bit. It's usually an attack gunship of sorts. Uh, I, wonder it's, I wonder how big of a size it's gonna be. It's, it's been rumored for a while, but now it's confirmed it's coming. Probably gonna get it because of how cool the Dune lore is and how unique this set will be. Probably gonna be a one-off shoot for a Dune franchise from LEGO. Interesting, uh, Lego going uh, in that sci-fi genre with a little bit more darker stories. Dune is not like an easy story to follow and it's, it's pretty gruesome in some parts. It's, there's like, a war involved and all that stuff. So wanna see how this one looks. It can be very, very good of a set. Uh, maybe it can be as popular you know, as the Tall Neck from Horizon Zero Dawn. Like, a, like a, this one-off shoot that pretty much stole everybody's hearts. Second camera apparently coming, um, no, if we count the retro camera from Creator, probably gonna get both of these because again, camera nerd, that's me. Uh, and I've been waiting for that one for a while and this has been in ideas for a while, so can't wait to see how this looks. Like, it's gonna be a simple model. Wonder if this is gonna have any functionality with like a, maybe a, a, a photo spitting out, maybe they're gonna use the same material like they did in the film uh, from the Disney camera. So we're gonna have like a fake Polaroid photo probably there have to be, right? I wonder how LEGO gonna pull that one off. Jurassic World only gets one set in the first half of the year, so not sure if that means that the beam is dying out or anything, but there it is. Uh, and Marvel, uh, there is some interesting stuff if in Marvel as well. So Venom stuff, uh, which is expected. Venom Mech, Venom and Doc Ock, Venom Street Bike, probably gonna be more like kid-friendly sets. War Machine Mech, also probably one of those smaller mechs. Rocket Raccoon's Warbird, so we're gonna have another spaceship 
of sorts. Spider-Man's card is gonna be like a children's set. X-Men Jet, so that's gonna be interesting. If they're gonna give it a proper treatment like they did with the Guardians of the Galaxy, big models, I wanna see an X-Men Jet in that same fashion, like a big, nice model that you can probably display. Buildable Rocket Raccoon, so probably in the style of Groot. Hopefully he doesn't turn out like that other uh, space creature. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully it's gonna look better with the build face and everything. Buildable Green Goblin. I wanna see how they pull off the mask. Uh, might be interesting. And what scale it's gonna be, right? Uh, Sam Wilson, Captain America, buildable figure. So probably one of those action figs. And there's Spidey, buildable fig as well. So probably just, just gonna be like this kind of buildable joints, you know, kind of movable action figure. But we had Spidey before, so wonder which version they're gonna make. Spider-Man 2 is coming for PlayStation, so that might be connected as well. Minecraft, uh, Steve's Desert Expedition, Turtle Beach House, Nether Portal Expedition, Frog House, Snowdown with the Devourer, and Steven Baby Panda. Doesn't tell me anything, I don't play Minecraft, so take it as you will if you are excited for any of these. Ninjago, look at that giant list. Uh, Dragon, Zane's Dragon Power Vehicles, uh, Kai's Dragon, Nia's, Aaron's, uh, Max and Dragons, uh, Tech Max, Fire Max, More Max, Dragon Max, Mac Dragons, uh, I don't know. Lots of dragon wording and mech wording in here as usual from Ninjago. Ryu the Baby Dragon, this one is interesting because that probably is gonna be a buildable Ryu. Uh, and I, I love the little mold minifig that came out in the latest Ninjago sets. So I guess Lego listened and uh, well everybody likes the little guy. So we're gonna have maybe like a Baby Yoda style, I don't know, like Star Wars droid style, sort of mini uh, folks or, or um, Harry Potter Hedwig mini builds, kind of stuff stuff like that in Ninjago. So might be one of the very first types of actually creating a Ninja character, Ninjago character in a buildable form like that. Uh, Aaron's Ninja Offroad Buggy, Climbing Mac, and Dragonstone Temple. So that the, the name is super interesting in, in that regard. That we might see something the likes of the Ninjitsu Temple, the Erjitsu Temple, which was like the, the 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 holy grail of a set in terms of playable sets in Ninjago. I don't expect anything to be like Ninjago City, like the market. Uh, Knuckles Mac Battle another uh, Sonic set. Ford Mustang, Dark Horse, nice. Uh, Audi S1 e-tron Quattro, BMW set with the M4 GT3 and the M Hybrid V8. So one of those the double sets probably for like 50 bucks. I'm interested to see interested to see how the Ford Mustang will look like. Star Warsies, AAT, right on. A Clone Trooper Battle Droid Battle Pack, uh, so we know about that one. We knew about the Mini Skirtante 4, that's rumored, so it's gonna be like the same vibe as the, uh, the SSD, which I really liked as I said, so I have the, the former Master Builder Tante 4, so MIDI scale is very welcomed for me. Uh, I wanna see them do more MIDI scale and that's exactly what LEGO is doing, so that's great. Grogu's Escape, that's gonna be probably a playset, a location set. Buildable R2, not sure what that means since we just really not that long ago got a large uh, remake of an R2. So R2 this, R2 that, can you make a chopper or something in that scale? We had enough R2s, if you ask me. Bunta Eve Podrays Diorama, so this one I'm interested about, more, most likely it's gonna be a micro scale. Uh, pod racing, this is pod racing, it's coming back uh, in this cool fashion, kinda wanna see how this turn, turns out. It has to be a bigger set because the whole arena is kinda big, the whole track is big. Wanna see what they pull off here, honestly, but it's gonna be a diorama, a micro scale at that, most likely. Uh, and this one I'm, I'm excited for as well, build our joy deca. So I really wanted to see how this turns out. I really like that kind of another droid they made in this kind of desktop fashion, which was the, the probe droid with half landscape to it. In the droid deca, uh, I think we it's been a while since we got like bigger. The, the last big droid deca was that technique one, that weird one. So 2023 with all the new pieces and, and build techniques, this can turn out really great. And it's not an easy uh, design or shape to pull off. So, and I wonder if it's gonna like change into the, the ball shape or whatever. A Crimson Firehawk, so that's like a less known set. And another Tanti 4 related set in the form of the boarding diorama. So I can see like a, a corridor with maybe Rebel Troopers, Vader, Leia, droids, you know. We'll see who's gonna be there. Uh, I expect at least no less than five or six minifigures. Heavy Duty Bulldozer, Off-Road Race Buggy, Neon McLaren Extreme E-Race Car. So that might be like a 1 to... this 1 to 10 model, most likely. Another Mack truck, 
are, are electric garbage trucks, so a lot of electric stuff in this Technic Wave. John Deere 9700 9, Harvester. Uh, another Formula E race car, so these are two different, probably at different scales too. So I wonder if any of those is the flagship 128, like the Ferrari SP3, right? Probably not yet, we wouldn't know about that yet. Or maybe we know, who knows? Now this is getting, uh, what things get interesting is here with the more space stuff from Technic. So probably like a concept technology that maybe we're gonna see in the future from NASA or SpaceX, whatever, but nevertheless, surface space loader, whatever that means, seems like something from the Artemis program. Maybe they're, they're gonna promote that before we even kick off the actual, you know, landings and stuff like that. Planet Earth and Moon in orbit. A Technic model with planet Earth and Moon. This one is 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 quite quite baffling. Gotta tell you that. Not sure how they can pull off a nice looking planet Earth with Technic in mind. That this one is like very very uh, mysterious, honestly. A Mars exploration rover. Uh, not sure what, how it differs from the Perseverance, but here we are. And a VTOL heavy cargo spaceship LT81. Sounds like something from the aliens. Wanna see how this looks? What are you the most excited about? Let me know in the comments section below. I like to see the two cameras for me and that NASA Technic uh, or future flight, space flight stuff from Technic. That's interesting too. There is some Harry Potter like the Ford Anglia and some other ones too. Uh, big Friends Wave. I'm a big fan of Friends because they're pulling off excellent quality for the price. And I want to see the next Dreams line for sure, because Dreams knocked it out of the park with the first wave, and these sets are fantastic. Actually, I got my first one not that long ago. Um, so we'll see how the next one looks like, and I hope this Dim is successful in sales so we can see more, because I think it's one of the most interesting, most uh, creative Dims uh, to come out of LEGO as of recently. All right, thanks for watching, and check out my other stuff, and subscribe as well. Peace out.